history. Today we're gonna start with uh, Dario and we'll say well done to, to Dario for counting the beans. Maybe they are the magic beans. I can see you were busy counting and writing numbers. Well done Dario. Good job. Carry on. Keep up the good work. And well done to Sophia. I can see Sophia had some fun doing her writing. Well done, boys and girls. And again, thank you to the parents for sending us the amazing photos of your work. Right, today we're going to have fun. And we are going to be doing some art. For the art lesson, you will need quite a few things. Listen carefully. You will need some paper, just A for plain paper. You will need a scissor, glue stick, paint, some felt tips, and also very important, you will need some cotton buds. You see them? Let's get started. We are going to make an, um, a picture of a garden with flowers in it. To make the flowers, we will use the cotton buds. First of all, we will have to cut them. The end bit, which it has the the cotton on it, there are two on each side and we keep the sticks because we will need the sticks as well and you will have to cut quite a few, right? Loads and loads, so you keep cutting. You might need to ask for some help of your grown-ups or your older brothers and sisters if you can't cut. loads of them you keep the sticks because the sticks will have to be green painted they must be green okay they can be any other color I will start doing the paint very carefully everywhere Can you paint, I don't know, about four or five, depends how many flowers you would like to have in your garden. Then we'll leave it to dry on the side. Then we will need some of the uh, end bit from the cotton buds to be green as well. These are going to be the leaves. Right, they need to be green. These are the leaves. We put them on the side to get dry. Then we put the green away because we finished. We'll have to choose different colors. Maybe you will like purple flowers or orange flowers. You decide what color is going to be your flowers. I'm gonna do some purple. And then all our cotton buds will be different colors. Make sure you do quite a few each color, right? You'll have to leave them a little while to dry and then 
when they are dry, they will be ready to be stuck on your piece of paper. Right. Now, pause the video and carry on painting the cotton buds. When you've got lots of different colours, the green leaves and the green sticks, you will be ready to stick them on the paper. Right, are you ready? Have you finished painting? Mrs. Matuszewski has finished painting. You can see I have some yellow for yellow flowers. I've got some orange cotton buds painted, red, purple, the green ones, which I said that you need them for leaves, and the green sticks for the stem. We're going to start with the stem. We will fit glue on it and stick it down on the paper. And then we will do the leaves. They don't need lots of glue. One leaf on the side and another leaf on the side, on the other side. And then we will be doing all of them. Maybe I can do a flower up here as well. And another flower this side. I decided to have four flowers in my garden. One, two, three, and one more. Leaves everywhere. Remember, we all need two leaves. Put glue on one side. Right, let's make this flower first. You will need to choose a felt tip. I have pink here to draw a little circle at the top of the stick where the stem this is called the stem and i'm going to start by making the yellow flower first these are going to be the petals they go round and round the flower ready. I might not need to use this one. And then you can have an orange flower. Any colours you like. Oh, I nearly forgotten to do the dot. The little dot in the middle. Let's use purple. It's Easy if you do the dot first and then you stick the petals around it. After that, a red and a purple flower. Continue to do the circles in the middle. Have 
different colors. Now we have finished the flowers. Can you see? They look pretty. But our picture is not finished. In the garden, we have also some grass. We can draw some grass down. This is the grass for the flowers. If you have some more green left, maybe you can stick them down to be your grass. That's going to be your choice. And there is a sunny day. We'll draw the sun in the, in the corner. Sunny. And also, what do we have up here? The sky. We can have some fluffy clouds. Because even if it's sunny, sometimes the sun can hide behind the clouds. Let's do some clouds. And even better, if you have some cotton wool, you can make the fluffy clouds. We'll stick it with a tiny bit of glue. You can stick. To have fluffy clouds. A bit more grass. Well done boys and girls. This is my garden with flowers made of cotton buds. If you like to draw some mini beasts in the garden, maybe a spider or an ant or ladybird, or a butterfly on the flowers, you can do that as well. Now, don't forget to write your name at the top. Before you send it to us, make sure you write your name somewhere that Mrs. Matuszewski will know that it's your lovely art picture. Well, I hope you enjoyed, boys and girls. Um, art lesson today and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye bye.